you're listening to the Telltale Channel. Don't forget to check me out on all social media, Patreon, Twitter, Teespring, and Etsy. All links can be found in the description or on my website, telltaleatheist.com. So the first article I wanted to take a look at is entitled, Jerry Falwell Jr. posted this bizarre picture on Instagram, then deleted it. This is by Beth Stoneburner on the Friendly Atheist website, so let's give it a read and see what it says. Does anyone know what's going on with Jerry Falwell Jr.? Normally, the private activities of a man on his private yacht would be no concern of ours, but they become relevant when the man is the head of Liberty University, a school that would expel students if they were caught acting like him. Falwell allegedly posted, then soon deleted, a rather suggestive picture on his personal Instagram page. What's up with his shirt? What is going on with his shirt right now? What is this? It looks like it's tied in a knot, you know, and then like flipped up like women sometimes do. That's kind of weird, right? What's he doing with his shirt there? And who is this chick? The caption under the picture says, Jerry Falwell Jr., more vacation shots. Lots of good friends visited us on the yacht. I promise that's just black water in my glass. It was prop only. Uh Uh-oh. That's not good. Back to Beth Stoneburner. Who is the lady? A friend, apparently. What's in Falwell's glass? Black water, quote-unquote. What are they doing? Trailer Park Boys cosplay? Actually, Trailer Park Boys is pretty funny. I don't know if you guys have ever seen that, but I've seen it. And I knew people like that, seriously. I mean, I live in, like, Appalachia. I live in the mountains in West Virginia, and it's just a mess. Back to Beth Stoneburner. It gets stranger when you realize people can't make any sense of this. Let me play it and see what it says here. The sound had to be removed for copyright reasons, so I sped up the video. It's just a video of a Trailer Park Boys ripoff, starring Jerry Falwell Jr. Oh my god! Is that real? Did that really come from... Did that really come from Jerry Falwell Jr.'s account, or is that fabricated after the fact i don't know if somebody took pictures and stuff but they were smoking cigarettes that's not good that is not good this guy is like this guy is on the board of liberty university he's supposed to be like the leader of the moral majority like his father invented that whole thing his father is the one who so completely intertwined religion and politics They're supposed to be so above board. I cannot believe that they posted this. That is nuts. All right, let's continue reading. This is a quote from Chris Hayes. Uh, Of course, Chris Hayes, the news anchor, I believe. Can someone confirm if that Falwell photo is real or not? I'm losing my mind. Beth Stoneburner. Here's a more telling reaction. Falkirk Center fellow Malaki O'Brien initially insisted the image was fake before having to correct himself and say it was real, but just taken out of context. This is a quote from Chris Creech. Woo, look at that tweet Malaki O'Brien just deleted after getting some pushback from me. And then this is another Quote from Malaki. I deleted after I got more context on the photo. It was Jerry, so I was wrong. It was a photo taken out of context of the other photos with it. Did you know that? What it was was being used to imply is ungodly and seems to have been posted out of context for that reason. This is Beth Stoneburner again. This is hardly the first time Falwell's been linked to questionable behaviors. Quote, There have been reports that President Donald Trump's one-time fixer-turned-adversary Michael Cohen once briefly attempted to help the Falwells deal with a leak of sexually revealing photos and photographs of Falwell at a nightclub have surfaced. Falwell has said the images were photoshopped. They were not photoshopped, says Beth Stoneburner. And how many times do we have to see Falwell in context before the excuse of the pictures being taken out of context loses all meaning? Again, in another case... With another person, it would be easy to say his private life shouldn't concern us. But when Falwell's entire brand is promoting conservative Christianity, and when students at Liberty U are prohibited from consuming alcohol, and were once punished for being at parties where alcohol was present, and when he posts weirdly sexual images with a woman who's not his wife, it seems at least worth noting his actions. It's hard to imagine Falwell accidentally posting any of this stuff. It's possible he posted it knowing he would get a reaction, 
even if it was up temporarily. Why? Who knows? Here's another possibility. In the near future, if you Google something like Falwell and picture, it's possible this photo will come up instead of pictures of Falwell's recent racist tweet. British Prime Minister Boris Johnson allegedly did something similar. In any case, it's hard to take his claims of moral superiority to the so-called godless left seriously when he's behaving like a frat boy gone wild. With all the negative press he's had lately, you'd think that Falwell would try to steer clear of controversy, but better judgment seems to go against everything he represents. Yeah, that's a whole lot of information to take in. Falwell is disturbing. But, but, there's more to this story. This is not the end of the story. There's another article on this subject entitled, Jerry Falwell Jr. is taking an indefinite leave of absence from Liberty U. This makes me wonder if maybe it really was intentional. Like, I get that there's a possibility that maybe Falwell posted this really bizarre picture so that this would come up when you Google Jerry Falwell Jr. instead of some genuinely bad stuff that he said. But there are serious real-world consequences to this picture for Jerry Falwell Jr., So let's read the article and see what it says. This is by Hemant Mehta. So now we know what it takes for Jerry Falwell Jr. to step away from Liberty University. The school issued a one-sentence statement tonight saying Falwell would take an indefinite leave of absence. Quote, The Executive Committee of Liberty University's Board of Trustees, acting on behalf of the full board, met today and requested that Jerry Falwell Jr. take an indefinite leave of absence from his roles as president and chancellor of Liberty University, to which he has agreed effective immediately. Back to Hemant Mehta. Here's what I want to know. Why now? Earlier this week, Falwell made headlines for posting, then deleting, a picture on Instagram in which his arm was around a woman who wasn't his wife, with their bellies hanging out, with their flies down, and Falwell holding a glass of what he called black water. Huh! Good point. Didn't notice the flies. That's weird, right? That is super strange. Oh my god, this guy is in so much shit right now. Back to what Hemet Mehta was saying. He was apparently taking part in some Trailer Park Boys theme party. But more to the point, if a student at Liberty was found taking a suggestive picture like that, or even holding alcohol, or even attending a party where alcohol was present, it could be grounds for expulsion. The hypocrisy was unbelievable. The bad press no doubt played into today's decision. It didn't help that a GOP lawmaker, Representative Mark Walker of North Carolina, who once taught at Liberty, called for Falwell to step down yesterday. Truly what blows my mind about this whole situation is the fact that this is what it took to get him removed. This is what it took, really. This guy is a fucking monster. This guy is a monster. And it took him going to some party with a drink in his hand, a suspicious drink in his hand to get removed after all of the horrific shit this guy has done and his father has done. This is what it took, really. It's sad, honestly. The bad press no doubt played in today's decision, but it didn't help that a GOP lawmaker, Representative Mark Walker of North Carolina, who once taught at Liberty called for Falwell to step down yesterday. This is a quote. Jerry Falwell Jr.'s ongoing behavior is appalling. As a music faculty advisory board member and former instructor at Liberty U, I'm convinced Falwell should step down. None of us are perfect, but students, faculty, alumni, and Liberty University praise deserve better. I'm not sure what LU praise is. It's just a Twitter handle. That was said by Representative Mark Walker. Back to Hemant Mehta. Walker isn't one to talk. You can't belong to a political party whose leader is Donald Trump, then say someone else's behavior is appalling. Very true. It's telling, however, that this is the scandal that broke the camel's back from Liberty's board of trustees. It's not Falwell's racist tweet from May. It's not the way he targeted reporters who were doing their job. It's not the way his racism caused black athletes to transfer out of Liberty over the past several months. It's not because when a parent questioned his decision to reopen the school, he called the father a dummy. It's not his lies about the origin of coronavirus. It's not the sweet land deal he gave his personal trainer. It's not the poor boy scandal. It's not the way he censored the school's own journalists. It's not the distribution of racy personal pictures that somehow involved Michael Cohen. 
it's the yacht picture. Seriously, of all the reasons for Falwell to step down, that picture was the least of anyone's concerns. But I'll go ahead and make this prediction. Falwell is doing this because it's the easiest way to survive the scandal. Consider how this is the ideal year for him to step away from Liberty U. For the same reason, it's a good time for high school graduates to take a gap year. The school year is already in chaos. If you need to take a break, now's the time to do it. A year from now, I fully expect Falwell will return after saying he took some needed time off, spent a lot of time reading the Bible, got, it, got reacquainted with God, and turned a new leaf in his personal life. The students will then go back to calling him Jerry on campus. The board of trustees will welcome him back with open arms before they all go back to their donors to ask for cash, and nothing will truly change. Falwell, like Trump, doesn't truly know how to apologize. I can't imagine that he's suddenly seen the light. He's just doing some damage control. That's very likely. I mean, the guy has been embroiled in a billion bizarre scandals, and he is truly a monster. But I was just talking about this recently. In a lot of ways, I have trouble blaming some people for their bad behavior. Like, for example, look at Jerry Falwell. Look at Jerry Falwell's dad. Who was Jerry Falwell Jr.'s dad? That guy was a fucking monster in the truest sense. He destroyed countless lives. He has negatively impacted millions of people's lives. Millions. When you have a father like that guy, how can you expect somebody to grow up to be well-balanced? Like, look at Donald Trump. Why does he fawn after people's affection? And when he doesn't receive it from them, destroy them on Twitter, destroy their careers, ruin their lives. Why does he act like that? Why does Donald Trump attack somebody when they make it clear that they're not his biggest fan? Ultimately, the reason is because I suspect he never received approval or love from his dad. Trump's dad abused and mistreated him terribly. Nobody in Donald Trump's life has ever shown him unconditional love and approval. Nobody has ever said to him who he really cared about and whose opinion he valued, Donald, you're doing a good job and you're a good guy, and I love you. I don't know if anybody has ever said those words to him, anybody that's truly important to him. And that is why Donald Trump will ruin your life if you don't give him the approval that he needs. When you realize that, you stop hating the guy and you start to feel bad for him. You start to realize that like, none of this is really Donald Trump's fault. Like, his personality is not his fault. He needs therapy. He needs treatment. Now, we know he's not going to get treatment. That's just not going to happen. He, he doesn't believe he needs it. So, barring that, he needs to be removed from society for society's sake. Like taken out of the position of power, maybe put in jail to protect us from him. But I don't hate Donald Trump. I feel pity for the guy because he's so broken inside. And it's the same with Jerry Falwell Jr. He's a monster. Jerry Falwell Jr. is a monster. But look at who his dad was. I feel pity for Jerry Falwell Jr. And I feel like society needs to be protected from him. 